Hello YouTube, and I am going to be doing another episode of this RuneScape Let's Play series, and this time I will be doing Ernest the Chicken. So, before I start, I'm going to unlock this Draenor Lodestone at a crossroads. So, I believe the quest starting point is over here. If anything has changed, whatever, too bad. I don't know. To, okay, there she is. You could please help me. I'm in a terrible spot of trouble. My fiance Ernest and I came up to own this house. Seeing as we were a little lost, Ernest decided to go and ask for directions. That was an hour ago, and the house looks spooky. Can you go in and see if you can find him for me? Ah, uh, I guess so. Thank you, thank you. I'm very grateful. I think I some spotted some lights up at the top floor the windows. So, you may want to head up there first. Will do. Sign on the door that says, Adventurers beware, going in doesn't mean you'll come out. Well, whatever. Go in. Boom. Sounds like I'm doing a dungeon. Um, a ladder. Something's happening. Careful now, lots of dangerous equipment. You're looking for a guy called Ernest. Oh, there's blah blah blah. So you know where he is? Yes, he's a chicken over there. Ernest the chicken, are you sure? Is a chicken. Oh, he isn't normally a chicken, or at least he wasn't until he helped me test my Poltramorph machine. It was originally going to be called a transmutation machine, but after testing it, Polatmorph seems more appropriate. Change him back this instant. Um, no, it's not so easy. My machine is broken at the house has long been pestered with poltergeist. They seem to reap joy from hiding my belongings, and in this case, the vital parts to my machine. Well, isn't that convenient? Well, I can look for them. That would be a huge help. They'll be somewhere in the manor around the grounds outside. I'm missing the pressure gauge, a rubber tube. They've also taken my oil can, which I'm going to need to get this thing started again. Any clues? Well, I was start finding the IQ testing room under the manor where I test my creations. Oh, and if I were you, I'd stay away from the coffin in the basement, even though the poltergeist, even the poltergeist, there to go near it. Oh, I wonder why. I think we'll find out in a later quest. So, let's see. I guess we'll. Oh no, I need to go back upstairs. I'm going to work on getting the, uh, I don't know what it is, but I'll use the poison the fish bait method and get whatever it is out of the little pond. Don't attack me. By the way, I'm going to be doing these quests at the uh, minimal levels possible to do whatever. And so, at this point, I'm only level 11, Constitution, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So, not really much happening level-wise. So, this quest is pretty simple, so there's not really any need to go using up high levels just to do it. And I am wondering about trying to find the poison, or... Yes, the poison. There is our rubber tube. I guess it's the pressure gauge that we're looking for. Poison, poison, poison. Bronze helm. That could come in handy. Where the heck is it? Poison is on the second floor, or first floor if you're British. 
at the same room as the fish food? No. Dang it, it's on the first floor. Ground floor, my bad. Mm, in here. Or here. Here, dang it. Ugh, doors. Here we go. Voila, poison. Now I'm going to use it on the fish food. It's been a while since I've done this. Give me some slack. Oh, way. It's kind of hard to get out of here. You have to go out the back. So, that sign on the front door was misleading. Now, I take this lovely poisoned fish food to the little piranha pond he has out here. Count Threnor. Um, don't attack me! Gosh. I need my food for later. There you go. Piranhas start eating the food, die and float to the surface. We have pressure gauge in here. Wonder why. I love dead fish. Wonder why. Okay. Now. Let's see. side of the manor. Wait, is this one? Oh my gosh. I really do need this food. I went the wrong way, I think. Unless the spade is back here. Is it inside? Darn it, the spade is inside. One of the things I don't like about free to play, and I can tolerate most of the stuff about free to play, is that your run goes down so freaking fast. It drives me nuts. Okay. There's a heap of soil back here. I'm going to rest real quick. I think you I think agility level does affect your um, how fast your run goes down but really since this is uh, all gonna be free to play quests I'm not gonna bother with agility level for the time that I do have on members worlds so just to be fair I'm not training agility I will get to that later on I think it's only gonna go up a few levels for the novice quests there's not really much requirement for agility I'll wait till the intermediate quests before that'll start coming in handy. And then again, there is skill training, I and mean, you could train a lot easier. This is where we dig. Can't believe I'm about to do this. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? Okay. doing okay my bad I went to the wrong heap I don't even know if I need that skull I'm gonna destroy it just in case no I'll destroy it afterwards okay there we go I do need this key And hopefully this skeleton won't be terribly mean to me. Turn auto-retaliate off. I 
don't want to accidentally get into a bad fight, even though he will attack me, which is just annoying. It's level 22, I'm full on health, and i turn that on just in case. That wasn't too bad. And my prayer lasted that long. Okay, so I have two things now for the hard part. Let's see. Okay. Western room. Search the candle. Go down here. And what do we find but the IQ testing room? This is the least, my least favorite part of this quest. So, I have a guide open that I'm going to be using for these levers. So, let's figure this out. Pull levers A and B up. This would be A. This would be B. Enter door one. Pull lever D up. Enter doors two and three, which is... What? Two and three. I pull lever D up. Um, two and three. Why am I going back out this way? Pull lever A and B down. Oh, okay. I don't know why I did that, but okay. I've probably done something wrong and haven't realized it. Usually how things go down. Okay, be down. Enter doors three, four, and five. So this is three. Assume this is four. And this is five. Pull levers E and F up. Enter doors 6 and 7. Only options available. Pull lever C up. Enter doors 7 and 6. and then pull lever E down. Simple as that. So, lever D, I mean E, is down, and enter door 6, 8, and 3. 8, and 3, and then a watering can is available. Oil can, whatever. I'm used to being a member where we actually have water cans. Okay. I think that's the end of the quest. I just have to take all this back to the mad scientist upstairs and turn Ernest back into a normal little person. Not a chicken, because no one wants a chicken as a husband. Okay. Upstairs. And here we are. Ernest! Professor Audenstein? Really? Have you found anything yet? Give him here then. Side starts machine, machine hums and shakes, and the bird is back to normal. Thank you, sir. 
Directly irritating being a chicken. Dreadfully irritating being a chicken. How can I cluck ever? Thank you. Crash reward is always nice. Of course, of course. Maybe we'll have those eggs and cluck feathers I mysteriously walk found in my pockets. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was a dude and he was laying some eggs. Right. Well then, that is the end of that. Thanks for watching. This is Ernest the Chicken Quest, and I guess I'll be back next week with another quest for you. Thanks for watching.